What is up YouTube, it is your boy Turbo and I'm coming back at you once again and today we are going to talk about WWE the best overall after the show, the DVD, Blu-ray, whichever one. But yeah, I guess you can go ahead and call this a review or whatever, but um, I just got done watching this fucker and it was pretty fucking awesome. Lots of laughs, highly recommend it. Let's see, um, a, a, a lot of it was like... A lot of it was like old school, stone cold shit like that, like a lot of beer baths and stuff like this. I would say about half the content I've, I've done seen already, because there was this YouTube channel that basically uploaded the same shit, I don't know, probably a year or so ago that I watched this. I guess he caught this stream live or something and he was able to record it and yeah, well, what the fuck ever. But like you got stuff like, you know, starts off like stone cold, shame it man and triple H, you know, some shit happens. Like this is alright, so this is after Raw goes after the off air. There's no there's the script is off, you know, fucking they're they're they love the fucking they can do whatever the hell they want pretty much, right? So you do see some moments where you know people are getting stunned and people are getting hit with their finishers or whatever, but a lot of it's like just you know, just just him dicking off and having fun with the crowd. Like I said, it starts off with Stone Cold doing some shit with like Shame It Man and Triple H and Shane smells what the rock is cooking, some other shit. You got fucking like a too cool dancer with the Dudleys, Chris Jericho, and Big Show. Um, we find out that the Undertaker and the Kane do indeed love eating poontain pie. If you don't know what the fuck that means, just whatever. <laughs> Go check out some of the rock shit from the past. How about that? Um, and you had some other fucking. Well, we also figured if it found out that Sean Stasiak doesn't like pie that he and does. From time to time, enjoy a little bit of strudel. What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, fucking, uh... Um... Stone Cold singing a few different songs here and there. The Rock doing shit with Kurt Angle. Like, there's a bunch of different shit that happens in this DVD. I, the, the most of it is just segment, segments and stuff like that. But they also have a, a decent bit of, um... Well, de uh, yeah, whatever, but they also have a few different matches and shit like that that you, you know, that happens after the Raw goes out there that was just for that crowd. But, um, one of my favorite parts, though, of the, and again, I laughed a lot through this fucking thing, but one of my favorite parts is, um, okay, Booker T and somebody and whatever, like them, they have a match, and there's Undertaker's out there too, whatever, somebody has a fucking match. And basically, Booker T is trying to get Undertaker to do the Spinner Rooney. Let's just say The Rock comes out there, even Vince McMahon comes out there, people are trying to get this to happen. Hell, you, you gotta watch the DVD to figure out if he does it, how about that? But let's just say you might even see a Vince Rooney or a Rock Rooney, who knows, maybe a Triple H Rooney, <laughs> this shit. It definitely had me busting out fucking laughing, it was definitely cool as shit, funny as hell. Let's see, what are the moments you had? You had, um, shit like fucking The Rock and Stone Cold again, just going at it. Them two, lots of beer baths, lots of Stone Cold drinking beer, whether it be with Lillian Garcia, The Rock, fucking, you know, Hulk Hogan at one point, the cameraman, a bunch of shit like that. Even, you know, Stone Cold drinking beer with Goldberg and Eric Bischoff and somewhat, like, there's a lot of shit. You see a few good, cool-ass little moments with The Rock where he shares some shit with, with some little kids, and I don't want to spoil it too, spoil it too much shit, but um, overall, it's a good-ass DVD. Hell, you even get to see the fabulous Moolah get made. <laughs> well, who was it? It was um, Mark Jindrak, I think, that made out with her. A lot of good shit. Um, yeah, really fucking cool. I, I highly recommend getting this DVD. Our Blu-ray, or if you really want to be a dick about it, you know there's <laughs> there's ways to watch this shit without paying for it, but I do not condone that, <laughs> but you know, it's whatever. Some of the matches were like Triple H versus Randy Orton, um, John Cena versus Punk, let's see, what else they had, they had a few other ones, I think. They also have some Blu-ray exclusives, if you actually get that portion, but like, the regular one ends on that great-ass crowd that happened after WrestleMania 29, I think it was, the one where they was all singing fucking Fandango song, like... It ended with that fucking awesome ass crowd, which well, yeah, if you're not in including the goddamn exclusive content. All in all, though, highly enjoyable, very fucking funny, especially if you like some of them older stars like The Rock and Stone Cold when they were going at back then. Like, yeah, I definitely highly recommend any wrestling fan to go out, purchase this, buy this, or whatever the hell, you know, 
means of fucking watching it. Definitely an enjoyable watch. But, um, that's it for me for now. As always, I hope y'all enjoy this shit. And me, I'm out this bitch. Later, people. No drama, popping my Reese's Pieces. Fuck these bitch niggas, I'm a killer. These bitch niggas, they say cartoons. Many at, many at, many at. Murder motherfuckers, what you pussy niggas really wanna do? Ride real low with the comb on my lap. Do the drive by, trigger happy with the gap. Fuck them other niggas in my block, my niggas, everybody kill a nigga. Please.